Imagine touching two grains of salt, and the next moment, you're dead. Swag Production presents to you the truth about fentanyl. Opioids are a class of synthetic or semi-synthetic drugs. The addiction to opioid-based painkillers and heroin is now exponentially more dangerous. Canada and the United States have the highest prescription opioid consumption internationally. Between 2010 and 2016, fentanyl-related deaths increased by 60% in British Columbia, which is where the issue of fentanyl overdose is most frequent in Canada. The rate of opioid poisoning hospitalizations in Canada nearly doubled from 2007 to 2016. In 2014, Canada reached the world's second highest prescription opioid analgesic consumption rates to the point that it has now become a fentanyl epidemic. The most potent painkiller on the market, which doctors prescribe for chronic pain in cancer patients, is illicitly produced and sold on the streets causing a super high and often leaving users six feet under. But you may wonder why this is a cause for concern. Fentanyl is one such opioid that is much more potent than others and is gaining traction as an additive in street drugs. It is affecting a wide demographic of people in Canada and across the world. What makes this drug so dangerous is the fact that fentanyl is 100 times more potent than morphine and 50 times more potent than heroin killing an average of seven Canadians each day. As a synthetic opioid painkiller, it is often exploited for its properties to treat chronic pain and is now widespread amongst illegal markets. Like other opioids, fentanyl elicits an influx of dopamine that results in pain relief, relaxation, and euphoria through various pathways in our body's nervous system. Relative to other opioids, fentanyl more effectively crosses the blood-brain barrier, a system of blood vessels and nerves that protect the brain against toxins. As fentanyl is more fat-soluble than other opioids, it easily passes the barrier within seconds. Once in the brain, fentanyl works by binding to opioid receptors more strongly than opioids or endorphin hormones, causing users to experience a high, which can lead them to develop physical dependence or drug addiction. Fentanyl can hijack essential bodily functions regulated by the brain to cause an internal shutdown of organs like the lungs. A single dose can cause severe respiratory depression, possibly leading to death, but as little as two milligrams of powder could be lethal, which is equivalent to just two grains of salt. This, coupled with its ability to be absorbed through the skin and eyes, results in frequent and unintentional overdose of fentanyl. A major contributor of fentanyl is China, after which the drug is trafficked into countries illegally without any regulation. It is often mixed into other drugs without proper dose measurement and strategically disguised as other common medications, not only to Canada, but also the United States and Australia. Medical experts concluded that Prince died from an accidental overdose and it sadly took the life of Anne Carney, a 60-year-old nurse from Mississauga, Ontario. She fell victim to a fentanyl overdose after having used prescribed fentanyl patches for over five years, strictly for chronic nerve pain from a botched hip operation. One doctor even went on to say that no area of Canada is necessarily safe from this crisis. Everybody needs to be prepared. With this, the safest measure anyone can take is to avoid street drugs entirely. However, if you are an avid drug user, it can be difficult to quit, so it is best to know as much about your source as possible. Fentanyl test kits are relatively inexpensive and easy to use, providing users with a quick visual test to determine whether fentanyl is present in their drugs. It is accurate and sensitive to essentially all forms of the drug. Also, Canadian pharmacies and support organizations distribute naloxone kits for free. Naloxone counteracts the effects of opioids in the case that someone consumes fentanyl and possibly overdoses. If you know someone that may be showing signs of fentanyl addiction, such as euphoria, drowsiness, lethargy, and decreased respiration, there are numerous rehabilitation and detoxification facilities across Canada specifically for fentanyl consumption. The problem is so serious now that such facilities often have same-day admission policies. 
Always be watchful of yourself, friends, and family that use or are suspected users of street drugs as they could become addicted to fentanyl without even knowing it.